Welcome to this quick and easy tutorial for Adobe Photoshop Creative Cloud. This tutorial will walk you through some very basic tips and techniques you can use within Photoshop to improve the quality of your images. This short tutorial will demonstrate how to resize an image, adjust the levels, shadows and highlights, crop and straighten, some simple retouching techniques and how to remove things using the clone stamp tool or filling using content aware. Before we get started, here are a few quick tips to help you get around in Photoshop. On the left hand side, you will find the toolbar. Dependent on what tool is selected, this tool options bar here will change to reflect the tool in play. You can zoom in and out by holding Alt on your keyboard and scrolling on your mouse wheel. When zoomed in, press the space bar. This changes your cursor to a hand that will enable you to grab and move around. OK, let's get started by adjusting the image size. Go to Image, Image Size, and note that you can adjust the size of an image by various means, including centimetres, pixels and so on. To decrease the size, use percentage and alter to a number less than 100. Adjusting levels within an image allows you to alter the tonal range of an image by adjusting the intensity of the shadows, midtones, and highlights. Head to Image, Adjustments, Levels, and shift the dark, mid, and light goalpost. See the change this has on your image overall. This is good for subtle changes, but try to avoid shifting one end of the scale too much and not adjusting the others accordingly unless this is the look you're going for. You can also use the Shadows and Highlights tool as a second option. Click Image, Adjustments, Shadows and Highlights. The shadow meter will automatically jump, but ensure you adjust this to suit the image in play and that you aren't removing too much of the shadow. To crop and straighten, click the Crop tool in the toolbox. A crop box will now appear around your image. Click and drag the box to select the area you wish to crop and ensure you hold down Shift on your keyboard to maintain the image's original shape. To straighten, hover in a corner until the rotate icon appears, then click and drag the image into place to straighten. To quickly retouch an image and remove a blemish, first create a new layer that will sit on top of your image. Think of it like a layer of cling wrap sitting over the image. It can be handy to do your retouching on this clear layer in case you want to undo any of your retouching changes later. Select the Spot Healing Brush tool. This is specifically for circular blemishes and works by filling the spot with similar coloured pixels to those around it. Ensure your top layer is sampling all layers by checking this box. Adjust your brush size by pressing the left and right bracket keys on your keyboard or adjust here on the Tool Options bar. You can also use the Healing Brush, which is better suited to larger, non-circular blemishes such as wrinkles. It works by you selecting a sample point by holding down Alt and clicking an area directly beside the blemish. Then, similar to the Spot Healing Brush, as you draw over the blemish, this tool will fill the area with similar colours as the sampled pixels. You may need to try this a few times before it looks perfect you can step backwards to undo any failed attempts along the way. You can also try the Clone Stamp tool, but as the name suggests, it will clone from the sample point. Hold down Alt on your keyboard and click to select your sample point. The best way to use this tool is to make regular resamples. If you don't resample, something undesired may result. If you want to undo any of your changes, you can simply view only your top layer and use the Eraser tool to erase your touch-up corrections. The Clone Stamp can also be used if you wish to remove something from an image, but it's not suitable for every situation. As already mentioned, regular sample points are key. You can also try using the Fill function with Content-Aware. Make a rough selection using the Lasso tool, then click Edit, Fill and Content-Aware. Again, this may not be suitable for every situation, but it's worth a try. Now to save your image. This process can differ depending on where your finished product is going. 
But to get you started, select File, Export, Save for Web. Select JPEG and adjust the size using this meter. Take note of your image size and think about where you intend to publish the image. Happy quick editing in Photoshop.